Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoyed these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it and I'd be able to send videos like this to your inbox as soon as tomorrow morning. If you like this watch, you can buy it on thewatchbox.com. You can buy, trade, and sell luxury watches on thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the most bang for your buck from Omega, or at least that's my opinion, of the Omega Seamaster Railmaster. Launched in 2017 alongside the Trilogy Collection, this was actually a distinct model, and it has an enduring, handsome, balanced aesthetic that'll wear well on a broad range of wrists. You'll note 40 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the crown, on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. This is a wonderful fit, a strong all-arounder with an attractive series of tones. It's 12.6 millimeters thick with a sloped conical bezel, so it will slide underneath any dress cuff or tight sleeve. In terms of lug-to-lug -lug dimensions, you're going to find this is a highly compatible watch on wrists as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference, 46.8 millimeters lug to lug, and should you wish to accessorize the spacing between the lugs is a versatile 20 millimeters that will give you a bevy of OEM and aftermarket strap options. Now it is a nylon and leather hybrid strap as you can see on the top nylon with a cross hatch stitch that's quite attractive and creates handsome striations longitudinally. On the underside you can see a supple calfskin bonded to the strap and then a simple no-nonsense satin finished steel pin buckle to match the satin finished steel case. We give ourselves a bit more light, get a bit closer to the watch now. You'll note that the case is quite familiar to anyone who has been versed in recent Speedmasters or Seamasters. Sheer sides with a satin finish and bevels, not polished like on many other models. You can see these are also a muted and subdued satin finish. The watch overall is a model of minimalism and restraint. The like would appear at home in a Nomos catalog. I really can't overemphasize how much Omega has achieved with so little. Even the details are exquisite, like the vertical striation of the satin finish between the lugs. Now jumping back into the dial, you can see it's Standout features are giant vintage-inspired oversized triangular luminescent indices with a simulated patina-style luminova matched by the script Railmaster in a coordinated tone at center and the hands. You have a crosshair-style quarter Arabic dial with an incredible anthracite vertical satin grain. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a stunner at any price this dial would look at home and in fact it compares favorably to a similar dial treatment on the fifty thousand dollar Patek Leap 5235G annual calendar regulator. You also note that there's a railroad track outboard and three tones. There's the silver of the printing, the anthracite of the dial base, and then the off-white acru of the indices and hands. Lollipop style flourish of luminescence on the counterweighted sweep seconds hand and that's just about it. Turn the crown, blazon with the Omega logo, and withdraw, and you can see that the watch features hacking or stop seconds. Now, this is the caliber 8806, automatic winding, in-house, 55-hour power reserve, 150-meter water resistant. This coaxial chronometer meets the METAS standard. So it's not simply going to meet the COSC or ISO 3159 timing standards. This is going to meet the, Mate, the METAS in-house standard created by Omega with the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology. It tests complete resistances including anti-magnetism, shock resistance, water resistance, winding efficiency, power reserve, and chronometric efficiency. So it's everything a COSC chronometer is, but also is a fully cased up watch. Now the movement itself features the hacking or stop seconds. It does not feature the time zone hour jumper of the more deluxe 8900 series. Just keep that in mind. This is considered to be an entry level movement from Omega these days. That said, with the 55 hour power reserve, Meta's chronometer certification, you do get a lot for your money, including a silicon amagnetic hairspring made of Omega's SI14 compound. You also get a full balance bridge and a free sprung index for immense shock resistance. This is a watch that offers tremendous aesthetic versatility, 
fit on a broad range of wrists, a time-tested style that's already endured the rigor of the ages, as well as an outstanding value overall, aesthetically, historically, and mechanically superb. This is a watch with an incredible pedigree, modern, fit, finish, but fitting a luxury watch. And again, thanks to the compact lug-to-lug -lug dimensions, it will look home on a broad range of wrists and wrist shapes. See it and make it yours on the watch box. And we are back with the Omega Seamaster Railmaster glowing in the dark, as you can see. Modern Super Luminova, a crew by day, blue by night. And you can see that little bubble of a second sand sweeping away, propelled by the George Daniels envisioned alternative escapement technology known as coaxial. Still an exclusive and a signature of Omega. It employs multiple levels of escape wheel and pallet to combine tangential motion with separate impulse surfaces and thus long-term timing stability, short-term timing precision, and reduced maintenance requirements. You can see this outwardly simple tech marvel and make it yours on the watch box.